So I am going to uh, paint this picture of Walt Whitman. So first I'm going to get everything selected. So if I hit Q, that shows you what you got selected. So right now I got everything selected. And then I want to cut out some areas. So like, I want to cut out all of this, all the areas of him. Got his coat cut out up here in his face. As much as I can get to over here without losing anything. And this is a, a touch and go process. Here, if I have to, oh, no, cancel. Oh dear, now you see, now I've lost it. Stop, I want all of that back. I want all of this back. It's okay if I go a little on what I'm cutting out. want to actually get rid of this area. There we go. Coming over here, slowly, trying not to lose it all. I got a little too much there. Um, so I want And the, like I said, this so, so if I hit Q, all the stuff in red is not selected. So I got like I see I got a little extra hat here. I'm gonna go and get that in a minute. Um, I'm gonna hit Control J to make a new layer of just what I have selected, and I can see in here if I need to go in and erase anything, I'll take the eraser quick and very carefully. Just touch up any areas I think really shouldn't have been selected. I'm going to leave the whiskers. They're just too difficult. And I'm doing kind of a rush job on this. Okay. So once you have that, you're going to hold control and click on it. So it selects the area you have again. And I'm going to make a new layer for just that area. And I'm going to paint that area in. So I got my paintbrush here. So I'm painting just the selected area, right? And I just happen to be doing it blue because that's what I happen to be doing it as. Okay, so there we go. Selected the area. And I'm going to go and change the blending mode to multiply. Now when I turn everything back on, I've got a multiplied back layer. And I can hit control. Uh, I can hit control D to deselect. And if I got a little extra here, um, that's all right. I can always go in and fix it later. Uh, I can go into this layer and if I just need to erase a little bit, we can go in and just very easy, try to touch that up. Okay. Uh, and then you'd move on. So like if I want to do the face next, I would do the face. So I'd go down here, I'd get my quick select tool and I'd make it actually a lot smaller and try to zoom in. In the hopes that I could get this selected. Because this is the hardest part. So you see I got like way too much face there. See all the white. I don't want any of the beard. But I'm going to keep going. And now I got it like all selected. So I might have to magnetic lasso this. I just deselected everything. Yeah, so it's getting everything. So I'm going to have to uh, lasso this. I might have to do it all by hand. So I'm not really digging that either. Uh, so maybe I will go with the polygon or lasso.
or even just a regular lasso. Or I'm going to be going by hand and just very slowly. Can't do anything about the whiskers. Remember, it's better to go slightly outside and then erase. So that's what I'm doing. I'm going slightly outside, and if I have to go in and erase later, I will. So I've got that selected. I'm going to make a new layer there. I'm going to make sure my new layer goes to the top. Just on the new layer quick, I'm going to cut out the eyes. So I'm gonna just quick grab the eye right here and hit delete. And I'm gonna just quick deselect. I'm gonna grab the lasso again. I'm gonna do this eye. I'm gonna hit delete. Um, if there's anything else I think I need to cut out, I will, but I think I'm going to be okay with this. And I'm going to make a new, I'm going to hold control and make a new layer on top of it. So remember, holding control when you click this selects that area. Uh, and then I'm going to paint that area in. But of course, I do not want it to be blue. I want it to be a skin tone color. So I'm going to use this one or any of these skin tone colors. So F1C27D. C27D. Hashtag. Okay, so that's the color I'm gonna use. So here we go. And I set the lending down to multiply and that looks a little yellowish. So I'm gonna actually Try to drift it down. Maybe you try it on lighten. No. I'm just gonna. That doesn't look too bad. And I'm gonna do a turn the main layer on. See how it looks. Okay, so with the main layer it looks better. And then from there you just keep going. It's just a process um of working it back so like if i go out here see now i got his face colored now maybe i'd work on the hat so i go to this layer and now maybe i see if the quick select tool will work it works a little bit but not a lot uh, so now i'd continue and i try to get the hat I remember it's always better to go a little outside and then a race. So that's what I'm going to do here. Careful on the forehead. Control J. The new layer looks like I made a couple new layers by accident. Move it to the top, work on this one by itself. Go in and do some erasing. Just get rid of the extra. Got rid of a little too much, but you guys at this point should be getting the idea here. Or even in here, you might be able to um, use the quick select tool better, and apparently not. 
This is the problem with a Photopea like a Photoshop. It would have no problem doing this. A Photopea, not so much. Don't know why I played with the pen tool. I'm just going to cut it there. All right, we got that set up. I'm gonna make another letter. I'm gonna hold control and click on the selection, which is what's left. And I want this hat to be a dark brown, I think. So I'm going to paint it dark brown. Do, 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 do. There we go. And I will then do a multiply. And now when I turn all the other layers back on, now I got a nice dark brown hat that blends in with the background. Um, and this is kind of the procedure through the whole thing. Like I've still got to do the eyes, so I'll do the eyes right now. Uh, but then after that, uh, and you can see that I'm missing a little on the hat, which is extremely frustrating, which, at the end, I can touch up. So I'll show you just quickly um, after I do the eyes. Actually, I'll do the eyes last too. So if you do all control shift E, alt control shift E, it makes a composite. This composite, you can then like take a soft brush. Um, and kind of try to do some blending here. So like, see that is not soft at all. No, I want my soft brush to have a really low opacity. So, and I'm just trying to get in there and just touch that one spot up. And I can always grab the background and fix it, but then like, I can come in here. This is not the best way to do the eyes. I'm just doing it really quickly. Come in here to the eyes now. Kind of add some blue to the eyes. I don't know if all women had blue eyes. Let's just add in a little something.
And then doing this with a soft brush, it helps. I can also like take a white brush and, you know, whoops, I'm still on the blue brush. Take a white brush and, you know, kind of give the eyebrows back some of their distinguishing white. And kind of brush it in. Okay, and then you can add, like, if you want to add some rosiness to the cheeks or something. Take a red. I'm going to make this really, like, a low flow. Add a little more tone to the face there. And, yeah, like I said, with the hat, I really just got to go in and, and zoom in and try to fix it. Like... Maybe take the background color here and just trying to blend everything. Do a little color burn here, try to just soften that edge a little. And some of those spots where you're getting those highlights. So not the best job. Um, this is really the first area where comparatively, I would say, like compared to Photoshop, uh, this is at a huge deficit comparatively. Photoshop does a significantly better job than Photopea when it comes to something like this. But uh, to get you taught the concepts, these are kind of the concepts of how to do this. And I think it, it, it's coming over pretty well. And I could always take that top layer and I could multiply it to make it darker and play with the opacity. Um, but I'm not going to do that. So uh, hopefully this was kind of helpful. I will obviously go over it in class, which I hope will be more helpful.